remain in my mind Hey you guys, it's your girl Sydney Sizzle City Kid, you already know who it is Today's review slash try on is with Fenty Beauty in the shade 450 and Too Faced Cosmetics for this way in the shade Coco. My favorite thus far has been the Fenty Beauty. Um, it's left my face feeling pretty clean, pretty flawless. I only put three squirts on as you guys will see later in this video and I literally love it. I did not do any contour to my nose or to my cheekbones um, so I definitely look very like irregular at the moment if you all can tell with my nose but I also use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on the right side and on my left side I use the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, this right here has been heavenly for me. I've used it two times. This is my second time using it and I just want you all to see how snatched my cheekbone looks like and my nose too. Just tight. T-I-G-H-T tight. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to see my review on these four products, please stay tuned. Buckle your seatbelts. Get ready. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. I will be applying the Fenty Beauty with, I don't even know what kind of brush this is, but this is what I use for my foundation. And I will be using this It Brush. Oh, there it goes. It brush. I know my eyebrows look crazy, but they always blend out, so it don't matter. Show don't. Literally, when I put it on, it's so smooth. Like, and it smells good too. I don't know if that's weird or not, but it feels great on my face. And I don't know if you all can see the, the difference, but this is only with three squeezes on one side. Automatically, it takes all the blemishes away. And I'm not the type of person to hide from my dark spots or anything like that, but it does a great job. And I would say it's pretty medium to full coverage so this is nothing on my face versus you know with some eyebrows and this is Fenty on my face so now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced it doesn't say to shake but I'm gonna shake it anyway and this top is so cute to me Now, I don't know if you all can tell, but this side just feels so wet, like, it feels like I have paint on my face. It doesn't feel like it's going to have a matte finish like the Fenty side. I don't really know. But it definitely feels a lot more oily than the Fenty. You can definitely see the difference. This side is more matte. This side is definitely more oily. Um, it has nothing to do with the brushes. It just has to do with the foundation. And this side is way too dark for my face, as you all can tell, compared to the Fenty. So I'm going to go in and do the highlight as well, or a concealer. And I think you can already tell who the winner is. But, I mean, you all might like something different. If you like that oily, let me not say oily, the more dewy look, then honestly, I think Too Faced is better. But if you're looking for something very simple, very minimum, um, then definitely Fenty Beauty is for you. Okay, so as you can see now, I still like the Fenty a lot more. The Too Faced has my face feeling okay, pretty light, but at the same time, it looks like I just slapped some foundation on my face. And I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Rewind or Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. This is in the shade uh, Hazelnut. I tried it one time, you guys, and literally when it went on my face, I was amazed. Like, it feels great. 
Boom. Look at that. So smooth. I'm gonna do it like this. I really like using it on my nose, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my nose too. Wow. And on my shoe. Okay, so I'm gonna just use <laughs> I'm gonna use the NARS on this cheekbone. Um, so the difference will be between the cheekbones and not so much uh, my forehead or my chin. But y'all see how smooth this is? Very smooth. I think I just put too much on, but I'm gonna let it rock. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've already done a um, review on this, but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the difference between drugstore and prestige so I think I color match myself pretty well if I say so myself you know two years at Ulta taught me well yeah so there we have it you guys um, I think you can already tell who the winner is minus a contour minus lashes minus any type of eye makeup ding 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 y'all <laughs> say like, nah um i have not put any powder on literally all that i've all that you all have seen is all that i've done and these right here wins it all period um i, I don't even know like how to judge it uh this side right here it just the Too Faced definitely set into my face, but I like the more matte finish and I feel like the Fenty does the job. It, it does what I want it to do. I mean, simple as that. Uh, the Creamy Concealer, Creamy Radiant Concealer, I don't really think it's worth the purchase. And I believe this was only $7 from Walmart and you guys... When I tell you, it gives me that gleam, that natural highlight without any Anastasia, any glowing anything. This is it, you guys. I just, I hope y'all see the difference. Yeah, I'm not even going to add a contour. Like, it would be, I would say, like, you know, I'll come back in an hour. I'll come back in 30 minutes so you guys can see what it looks like. But I honestly, genuinely feel like y'all know who the winner is. I don't know what Rihanna has been doing in the lab, but this Fenty has been going hard. But let me even just add a little light to it. Oh, y'all see this light? This highlight? This natural glow, y'all. Natural. Boom. And this side. Okay, so... Y'all, I know I got some pimples here and there, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this left side is really killing the game, and this right side is really subpar. It looks like I'm using, like, NYX foundation. <laughs>